Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. Welcome to our first ever cruise on board Holland America Line. I know, we've been excited to try this line forever and today's the day, today's so we're excited. We are already on board the new Staten Dam, but we have to toss it back and show you how we got <laughs> here. Uh, I think we we'll talk about it already in a little clip coming up, but this is part of what we are calling Around the World in 80-ish days. Phase one. <laughs> yeah, this is cruise number one. We were doing an 81 day trip and this is the kickoff. So I guess Caribbean. Ooh, a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's throw it back and get you caught up to where we are now. Go. Welcome to Terminal 26. We have just dropped our big bags oh. and we are ready to roll for check-in. And away we go. We are all checked in. They are currently on group 27 and we got 31s. We just had to go through the x-ray station, the facial photography recognition station, and then here we are. Yeah, so it took us about 30 minutes to get through the first check-in process, about 30 minutes of waiting here, and our number has been called. Oh, we got old Celebrity Apex next door. There is our ride. Woohoo! Long voyage. And we have made it through all the required lines and we are officially on the home stretch. First steps on, well, Holland America ever. <laughs> Welcome officially to deck two. We are currently midship. Oh, I guess we're actually in the atrium. Whoa, mirrors are playing with my eyeballs. Uh-oh, our new faster safety drill. That's what we gotta learn about, isn't it? Visit, watch, listen. But we don't know what it is. That's true, we don't know where our muster station is, so let's find out. Well, let's pop over here to the side and find a quiet spot to get our thoughts together. Ooh, Rudy Seldemer. All right, we've learned you have to go to your cabin, get your card, and that tells you where your muster station is. We can look at art on the way. Oh, we've made about to Club Orange. That's like a cool special dining room. All right, let's head back more midship, I think, and find some stars. We have made it to deck six, which is the Mozart deck, and we are gonna find our cabin. We are in the cabin officially. Here's where they keep the things in the cabin. Uh, we are in an interior. I believe this is a J. We just did yeah. a guarantee, and they put us on a J in in a J on deck six. Is that how that works? Like midship, which is really nice. Yeah. Let's look at it. So beginning at the echoey door, as we usually do, we've got a nice little oh yeah, privacy, please, or tidy up, please. Light switch does require a key card. Oh, let's back it on up. You know what? Let's start with the bathroom. We've got some hooks on the door, which I like to see. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, three shelves upon which to put our stuff. They got little liquid, what's over there? Oh, hand soap and lotion. That was kind of dark. Nice little toileting zone. And we have whoops, a shower. That is gonna get some talking about later on. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's leave this room. So from the bathroom door, a couple of hooks right here too. Let's dig into this storage, shall we? All right, so this is kind of a, oh no, it is two separate units. So we got sort of a modular adjustable tall hangy, another hangy that turns into shelves. I think, hmm, I'm trying to see some of the shelves, they don't really look like they could fold up, but they might. Oh my gosh, is this a tie and or belt and or bacon rack? You just hang all your strips of bacon on there? That's amazing. Oh yeah, there was a full length mirror on that door. I forgot to point out. A little further into the room, what have we? Oh, all right. Shelf, a little safe. What, oh, this is a giant. We had a refrigerator. Okay, there's stuff in our refrigerator. I don't know that we're supposed to touch that because we don't have any kind of like plan that covers it, but hey, there's stuff in our fridge. Nice. And drawers down below, which I assume are probably empty. Let's check them all. Well, they've got announcements in the hall. Okay, next to that, we've got another little storage cubby. Oh, very nice. Well, let's take a full peek at it, shall we? A little triangular unit and a shelf. More pay items for the mini bar. See if we can read that. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, we got a, guys, we got a dish cabinet. Whoa. 
Oh, we got a little trash can, y'all. Okay, magazine rack. Look at this big old TV. We are excited. I mean, not that you spend a ton of time in your cabin no. watching TV, but maybe. That's nice, though. It is. Artwork. Mm -hmm. And a work of art right here on the bed. Aww. Wow. <laughs> There's all of our uh, carry-on luggage. We still got big bags checked. Yeah. Uh, both sides of the bed do have a 110 type plug and a USB. Little reading light. That's awesome. Ambient light up there nightstand with some drawers and some under storage uh, okay let's peek over here oh does this this does fancy stuff doesn't it well storage, st storage there here in the drawers uh, we got makeup mirror and hair dryer so it says empty you know what let's check all these empty empty okay on the desk, we've got a couple of 110-ish type things and a USB, all sorts of paperwork. Now we got uh, snackies, snackies, corkscrew. There's like some champagne. We got a room service menu. We got like, there's just stuff all over the desk. So we'll, we'll get into this as we figure out what the heck. What is this? Room service. Uh, it's included. Door hanger. Yeah. Okay, there's a few pay uh, uh, things, but Cool, mostly included. Mm -hmm. Thermostat and a big old mirror so I could put on all my makeup. <laughs> all right, how is the bed doing? Because you, you've sat upon it. Yeah, I can already tell this is going to be like the perfect, like firm and soft that I like that gives a good support. So I'm very much looking forward to sleeping on this this week. It nice. feels nice. <sighs> Cabin spin. All right, well, now that we have our cards, we can figure out our muster station. I didn't realize it doesn't seem to show you in the app where your muster station is. You have to go to your cabin, get your cards, and that's how you know where we're going. That works. Guys, it's our first hauling cruise. We are going to be doing a lot of learning. Together. Y'all can learn right along with us. Well, we've got our daily program, which is teaching us a whole lot. So, of course, like we said, between 12.30 and 3, you have to check in at your muster station. And then you also have to watch the safety video. It sounds like as soon as we turn the TV on, it's going to come on. We're going to push English, and it's going to play. You have to watch in your room to completion before the TV advances to the main menu. Gotcha. And then other suggested things to do. Your cooperation is essential to ensure we depart on the schedule. Thank you. All right, we are ready to wander. Well, yes. muster and then wander. Yes. <laughs> That's us, C3. We're all scanned in, so we're right here by the shops for our muster station. Shops aren't open yet, but what is this? Oh, BB King's Blues Club, Lincoln Center Stage. Oh, cool. So this is just kind of like open air, I guess. Oh, there's more seating down on deck two. Is, can this one space simultaneously BB King and Lincoln Center? We're learning. It looks like Lincoln Center. Oh, we'll wander away from this possible two-in-one venue that we'll discover more about later. Yeah, it has both words on the sign. <gasps> Casino. Oh, yeah, there's like a little room over here to the side that's kind of separated from the rest of the casino. Interesting. The main casino is over this way. Oh, here we go. There's the main section. Oh, man, we'll just have a wander while the place is closed. Look at all these lights. Welcome, tournament players. Are we on a tournament cruise? <laughs> well, we hit a dead end at that elevator lobby, so we have turned around and we are going to head back toward the guest services atrium area. Back past BB Lincoln's. That's its new name. Ooh, Grand Dutch Cafe. I think that's the line for that. We'll be checking that out sometime. Oh no, that's uh, that line is actually for something else, isn't it? Here's the cafe up here. Okay, let's explore some of this stuff. Wow, look at these things. What the heck? Chocolate covered pastry rolls. Let's see if we can take a peek down the menu. The center section is the food, which is included, and then they do have like bar and coffee and all that for a charge. Well, we placed our order. We found a seat here at a high top. Uh, I feel like I'm Godzilla looking over a Dutch neighborhood down there or something. You uh, got a number for the table and they will bring us the food as soon as it is ready. So cute. Yes. Oh, but 
just here off the atrium. And they got a nice little seating area over there for some overflow. So I have decided to get what they call their toasted ham and cheese. It came with a curry ketchup, which sounded delightful. We also decided to get the, what is it, the Dutch pea soup? Mm -hmm. I guess they're famous. Nice. D has gone with the sandwich bean ham, which is basically ham. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. It says it's a corn roll. I don't, it looks like a multi grain. There's roll probably or something. corn in there somewhere. Yeah. Well, that was pretty good. We decided to hold off on the sweets for now. We're trying not to ruin our appetite for our upcoming large dinner. What's up, Oprah? All right, so she is the godmother of the new Staten Dom. Now, we've already resigned ourselves to the fact that we are probably not getting an elevator. So let's go from deck three to deck nine. I like a lot of this, like, retro vintage music themed art. They have cassettes. I've seen vinyl. Well, right here in the elevator lobby of seven, we've got a straight up boom box. Look at that antique right there. <laughs> All right, let the up continue. Oh my gosh. All right, what do we got? Bob Dylan, Dave Grohl, Frank Zappa. That's Not funny. Cool. I like that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, the deck nine. Well, that was the buffet line that we came out at. Okay, this is the dive in. We're kind of making our way toward the pool area. Oh, we got grab and go burgers, sandwiches, and fries. They've also got stuff if you order, they'll give you a pager, it looks like. We got a gelato bar with pricing over on the sign. Now let's come around the corner and get a better look. Here we go, shakes and stuff. New York deli and pizza upstairs, that should be included. Speaking of up, let's go it. There's the pizza and deli area. Yeah, they've got the dome over the pool kind of half closed. <laughs> Makes it a little warm up here. Check out this main pool zone. Cannonball. Ooh, little nooks with loungers where you can peek out. Kind of cool. Couches. Y'all, here's where they keep their D. One deck above the pool deck. How did you know that? That's nice. Nice couch. Stairs into the pool. I totally overlooked that. Oh, there's a child. Ooh, sweet find at the deli. Self serve water, tea, and lemonade. Plus, the, 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 the delicious smell of pizza wafting up from over there is an added bonus. Cool little salad presentations here at the deli. I guess that's like little yogurty cups and stuff, maybe. Let's look at the slightly glary menu as we stand here. They got breakfast stuff, build your own pizzas, movie night snacks, desserts, salads, movie night snacks. Uh, yeah, that's cool. <gasps> We've run into a door that says no adults allowed. <laughs> I mean, I'd be allowed in there. Just kidding. Let's go outside. Well, hey there, Fort Lauderdale. We have not even looked at you all that much, have we? Oh, it's nice out here. Yeah, I like this. If you go all the way back here on this side, you, there's another pool in the back. We might go take a peek at that in a minute. Ah. What's up, benches? I like that bench. Shuffleboard excitement. Yeah, folks out here actually playing. That's cool. Deck 10. Oh, yes. 11 is the Sun Bar Sport Court jogging track. Oh, let's continue our exploration of Deck 10 first, though. Oh, there's like a door. Oh, okay. Well, apparently everybody has access. Cool. Oh, we got a little seating area up here that looks down to the aft pool. Lots of tunes bumping. Cool stairs down into that pool, too. Lots of nice couches and stuff out here. There's some artwork. What's up? <laughs> well, let's cut back down to deck nine using this little staircase. That puts us down here on the level of the pool. Finn Cantieri, 2018. This has taken us into the Lido Marketplace. We got washy washy stations, tea, D, more beverages. So this is a ah, distant lands, Italy. Create your own pasta station. 
I don't need any of this food, but I will gladly look at all of it. Roasting pan. Looks like they're kind of doing some make-your-own nacho-y kind of stuff here. Tacos. Wild Harvest Premium Salads. the breads. Oh yeah, those sandwiches up here. What are they working with? Roasted strip loin is cooked to order. That's cool. Salmon snapper. The station is called Homestead. Sweet spot. Okay, I see cookies. I see um, other things that are like cakey and cookies. Ice cream. There's the official sweet spot menu. So this was kind of a grab and go. Most of their buffet concept actually looks like they serve you and apparently they that's the way it's kind of always been here on the other side at the ice cream part they've got gluten free and vegan I'll get a closer look at some of these signs as the line progresses there we go sweet spot gluten free offerings there is their list of vegan offerings and there was their official menu oh and this is Canaletto which is the Italian restaurant right here as well I got some pistachio. It's almost gone. Do you got vanilla? Yeah, it's good vanilla. Hard scoop. But they have soft serve also. True. Like certain flavors. Now that we're up here on top of the world and there's no scoot scoots and stuff, we're going to see if maybe we can get an elevator down. I just knew with the number of scoot scoots, it's probably going to be difficult getting the elevators up. Well, there's also like kids and stuff. True. Like, it's spring break, so there's a lot more uh, families than you think. Yeah. Happy Saturday! Whoop, whoop. It's also April Fools. Oh, that's true. Welcome to Deck 2. Okay, so now we should have some music venues down here. This is the official ground level for BB King and Lincoln Center Stage, which is over uh, in this general direction. We saw it from above earlier, so we just got to get down here and peek at it. Sure, we'll be spending some time in here. Heck yeah. This is Captain Noel Driscoll coming to you from the bridge. Safety time. On behalf of the entire New Staten Island team, Welcome on board. Oh, he's getting ready to sound the alarm, he said. There it is. <laughs> well, I won't talk over the captain too much, but we're just going to take a peek at the Rolling Stone Rock Room and the billboard on board. Is there dueling pianos in here? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, up here at the front is the uh, world stage, and the thing tonight is their origin story, like a seminar presentation, I guess, rather than like a show. I'll be back on in a few few minutes with my departure speech. At this time, uh, we're looking at a 3.30 departure. Uh, once the ship in front of us set sail, then it'll probably be our turn. So at this moment, so Apex is going to sail first. So this is world stage. It seems like a lot of what goes on in here is uh, dance shows. I think we have four different dance shows that happen in here. They do seminars. Mm-hmm. But not really, I haven't really seen too much in the way of like a traditional production show like we're used to. So we'll see. We're just going to check all this out. I like the gray and orange. That's cool. <laughs> Classy. Well, I don't know why orange is classy. Orange hat it's is color. classy. <gasps> oh my gosh, I fit in so well with orange hat here. Ooh, D is testing out the bootyosity of these seats. Yeah, bootyosity might be a um a thing. They are all this size of seat too, aren't they? They have a few little plasticky looking things down on the front. Well, we'll see. Guys, I found a seat for me. It's a double model, but it, only me. So I'm gonna sit here. We'll have a little table between us. Dee can have that one. Oh. Is that meant for two people? It's meant for me. That's all I know. I'll sing to this seat. You were meant for me. Okay. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna wander some more. I like how I said I wasn't gonna talk over the captain and all I did was kind of talk over the captain, but he's done now. So, <laughs> whoops. I like the tunes, they got Beach Boys. I mean, they were playing like Cheryl Crow upstairs earlier. It's a wide variety. Kings of Leon, I've heard all kinds of stuff around the ship. And there are four cruise ships in port today, and all four of us are scheduled to leave around about the same time. Nice. <laughs> to avoid us all leaving at the same time, the Harbor Master sets an order of departure. Anytime between oh, three and notes is the whiskey five. place. And the ship in front of us. Ooh, la la. She's to go first. Once she goes, Oh, we're getting we our, get our marching orders here. We're going to jump up a deck and see if we can hop outside. Oh, I believe he said port side was going to give us the best views. Is this automatic? Oh, it is. I was reaching for a handle. Are you automatic? 
camp. I mean, I see people out here. Nice. Here are our Fort Lauderdale views off this side. We can barely peek the top of the Volendam over the parking garage. Apex in back there. We're gonna head forward and see how far this promenade deck goes from the map. It looks like we might almost be able to go on the very front of the ship. Oh, so far, so good. We're making progress. <laughs> Still going. Oh, so we can get all the way to the front. It's just not uh, open. Ooh, I feel like we're going into an area we're not supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's, don't, that, let's sure. don't go out there. I mean, you can go across and continue all the way back down the other side. It's a good adventure. Let's come back this way. We can see a little bit more of Volendam across the way now. Like how it says Volendam, Rotterdam, and they have a ship called Rotterdam. So you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ah, Apex is still tied down, so we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, there is a sail away celebration happening around the aft pool right about now, but I think it was just a little bit of tunes and stuff like that. Hmm. Let's hop back inside and go afterwardly, shall we? Deck 10, panel on the deck. Back upon deck 10 now. We've come up in the forward section, which is people's cabins, but there is a door taking us back outside. <laughs> Close through there. All right. Now we will continue our aftward wander. Well, I hear the YMCA. We must be heading the right direction. Hey, everybody. There's where the excitement is. Everybody now. Woo. Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess I got sand away stack. Cool. Oh, where are we going next, I wonder? Whoa, we are hot, hot, hot. Conga line time. We got a high five conga line going down. Nice. <laughs> A prize for the best dancers on board. Here we go. Oh man, we're gonna win. I don't think we're winning. <laughs> All right, girls, and your hallelujahs. I think we're gonna head back to the cabin and see if our suitcases have arrived. Oh, there's the sports court one deck up. Okay. The horn scared Yeah, the horn just blew earlier. We are officially on the move. I'm surprised. I thought I would have seen Apex uh, leave, but I don't see them. There she is, sneaking out ahead of us now. All right. I want to see you next week. <laughs> That's our next ride. She is honking a little bit. It's kind of a weak little honk. I think we're facing away from the honker. <laughs> That's a little better. get a little bit even better peek at Volendam back there. All right, let us wander back inside. <laughs> oh gosh, they're blowing the horn outside. We just missed it again. And we have suitcases, woohoo! Well, we're discovering interesting suitcase logistics as we go. Apparently at the foot of the bed, I missed them earlier, are two giant drawers that pull out in that direction. Um, but it looks like we should be able to tuck the suitcases under from the side. I guess from this side, not so much. Oh, there's where they keep their deeds. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Hey. I'm unpacking. Your side is a little too close to the wall we to probably too much stuff. wedge a suitcase. We did. I mean, for around the world in 80-ish days, which is what this trip is if we haven't said it already. No. Yeah. Half my suitcase is still full with wintry stuff. <laughs> What is it all? Good evening. I'd say fresh and clean, but I've been there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out our angles in this cabin with the spotlights <laughs> and where the lighting is good. So right now you get to look at us in front of like the There's corner a of the TV. a giant TV, mind you. Uh-huh. That's fine. So we are getting ready to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. We have got specialty planned for tonight. Now you know, we love us some Rudy's Sea Grill. We do. On the carnival. So mm -hmm. we are going to Rudy's Cell de Mer tonight. Also seafood. That's right. Also exciting. Now this restaurant was first, yeah. I think the, oh, the yeah. South Holland, American Holland concept. is first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's true. They're celebrating 150 years of cruising right I now. Know. So uh, that blows my mind. But that's insane, yeah. Anyway, seafood, mm -hmm. yum yum. Dinner. Let's go eat it. Yum yum yum. <laughs> Guys, it's not Thursday. What's going on? I'm confused. 
there is our destination. I guess we check in right here at the front. Well, we're the first ones in. Oh, uh, cool corner table. I like it. Oh, these cute plates. I can't stand it. I want to eat that shrimp right there. I'm hungry. All right, let us dig into this menu. We've got our apps, our entrees. We're going nice and slow. Look at y'all pausing the video to read this. Y'all are good. Hmm. They've started us off with a little amuse-bouche that involves smoked salmon and puff pastry and something there. Nice. Mm -hmm. We've also got a little baguette hiding under there, I think. French baguette. And they have brought an entire little tray of things for us to put on the bread. I heard olives, red peppers, goat cheese, baby eggplant, like a tapenade, I think pesto in the middle. I don't, I don't remember what that one was. We'll try it and tell you. Oh. Oh, do you just notice something? You guys, it's shaped like a fish. Oh I'm not sure gosh. if that's on purpose, but it works out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's on purpose. You guys, you are not going to believe what D got. <laughs> calamari. People were trying to guess what we ate the other day, and they were like, if it's calamari or apple, D's going to get it. You guys are Pretty correct. Pretty much, yep. So there's where you're starting. <laughs> I have gone for crab bisque because they said there's some nice honky honks of crab in here. Hmm. The appetizers continue. What have you gotten? It's the seafood trio salad. So it's tuna, crab meat, oh, <laughs> and bay shrimp. And it came like with a really pretty presentation. So yes. it's just three different presents or um, salads, basically. You got like a crawfish or I a do. langoustine He's or something in me. there. <laughs> cool. I have gone for the marinated lobster. Cute little piece. I forget if he said this was probably um, Canadian. Canadian lobster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they brought me special silverware. I know this is like a little fillet knife or something, but I got like a special fish fork. Is that a thing? Is there a fish fork? I'm so civilized. You are getting very sleepy. Why, why are we being hypnotized by lobster tails? I don't know. It's very comfy. Wow. All right. What have you done? I did the seafood platter grilled. So it's, I think it comes grilled salmon, scallops, and, and a um, little lobster. And a lobster tail. And it comes with asparagus and I guess dipping, different dipping sauces as well. I ended up going for one of the fish of the day options, which is the Wahoo grilled with a little, I think, lemon butter. They gave me some tapenade and stuff like that. We got the, ooh, what is that one? The cauliflower, the Erico Vert, of course, green beans, and ratatouille. Well, they have brought out a whole little uh, dessert tree for us to enjoy before dessert comes. We have things that look like mushrooms and candy things. I know, I think you said uh, maybe this one was filled with passion fruit, and there's a strawberry, and it's so cute. It's so cute. Guys, did you know Dee was going to pick an apple dessert? What? She almost didn't. I almost didn't. She almost got the thing that's sitting in front of me right now. Yeah, it's but... uh, apple tartatan, and it go. has cinnamon gelato. So I was like, all right, I'm actually really full though, so we'll see how this works. Sounds good. I got what they call the face-to-face -face chocolate dessert, and it is a face in chocolate. I mean, we got like little lips. Look, they even put like the glint in the eyes, like some caramel popcorn. I got some ice cream too. Y'all, that is just cuteness overload. <laughs> Y'all, I am full as a tick. Is that a thing? It's a thing. It's a thing. We'll talk about our individual dishes later when we're back in the cabin. You know how it is, but whew, whew, we're feeling good. Oh, they're showing Wakanda forever as the movie. Yeah. Whew, we gotta get some steps in. Uh, <laughs> oh, looks like we could be in for some live music this evening. Well, we snagged a seat here in the back. It looks like they're doing some set changes and whatnot, but we should have in about half an hour some tunes. Take a peek at this fun menu with all the fun names. So 1075. <laughs> Got some canned music going on in the background. <laughs> There's their wines and their beers and their whatnots. <laughs> Please welcome the stars of the party, the BB King's Blues Club All Stars. <laughs>
sneak up here and catch some other live music events. Welcome to Billboard on Board. Let's see if we can just talk over top of Kelly Clarkson while we look down this little thing here. We don't need no uh, copyright things from Kelly. Now, nah. there's our little beer menu. Top 10 Vineyard Edition. I like that they're doing, you know, top 10 because Billboard Countdown, that kind of thing. So I believe we've got a British Invasion type set coming up in here very, very shortly. Not Kelly. There's the British Invasion. It's the Spice Girls. Oh, actually, the Piano Man's is here. It might be a one man's piano show, so let's listen to <laughs> Not the Spice Girl. <laughs> My lovely partner Tammy had to deal with some business on land, so she will be rejoining us in San Juan this week. So we're sending her some great energy and some good vibes from here on the new stock man that she's very excited to come back to us on Wednesday. Do a seen on TV that we're gonna have here on this very stage. Uh, the first game that I'm gonna start off with this game night is called the Hip Hip Hooray. If I say Hip Hip, you will tap your legs like, like so twice. So let's try it one more time. Everybody, Hip Hip. And if I say the word Hooray, all you need to do is to bring your hands up, both, both hands up. Hooray. Uh, let's try it. Hooray. With the legs tap. Yeah, there you go. Hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hooray! There you go. Hooray! Hip hip! There you do that. Now they're going. Now they're going. Now they're going. And here we go. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this microphone back again to one person. That person needs to sing a song. It needs to be in English. It needs to be, uh, you're not allowed to stop or pause for about two seconds. You're not allowed to repeat any song that has been sang throughout the game. And you are not allowed to stop until I take the microphone out of you. Jump up to deck three. Oh, what do we got? Puzzles! Is that anybody we know? Uh. No. No. Maybe. 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 Maybe.
that's cool. This is a good thing about taking stairs is you can admire the art in everyone's lobby. <laughs> Welcome to deck four and a half. The art <laughs> tour continues. Whoosh. More art. Oh, we got our paper for tomorrow. Well, we've come into the cabin to find that they've left us a tote bag and a little piece of jewelry and an invitation to the shopping show. Nice. <laughs> okay, they've started us with the shopping at sea charm, and I guess each event you go to, you can go get a charm. I don't know if there's a cost to it. Usually not with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. huh? You think? Yeah. Eh. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Guys, we don't know. We're up in the air on if there's a cost to this or not. I think they just want you to come to the stuff. We find out, we'll let you know. Well, cannot confirm. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. <laughs> I like how you're trying not to move. We're trying. We're like, still figuring out our light. Glare yeah, we can't. Everywhere. We can't. We either step. I'm going to be in a spotlight. I'll be in the dark. <laughs> I'll be in some glare. It's okay. We're these, trying. These it's light the cans, can <laughs> uh, these overhead light things are not kind. At least it's brighter though. Y'all, welcome to the end of the video. Yeah. Tell me all your words about your day. It's been really amazing, honestly. Um, I've enjoyed every activity we've done. The food's really good. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about no, we'll that talk yet. About that later. Very just, music driven. Yeah, I yeah. love like all the different music venues they have. The singers and um, you know instrument people, mm -hmm. <laughs> bands. Them people. Them instrument are people. really good. It's Did you fun say they're, bouncing around. They're instrumental to your enjoyment. They're of very them. instrumental. Yeah, uh, bouncing around's been really fun. I like the game show that we did. Mm -hmm. It's a good mix of ages, honestly. Yeah. Like like a really good mix. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really enjoying our experience. And I, I found elevator availability has yeah. gotten better <laughs> by the end of the day. So, you know, it was just that embarkation day midship rush where it was it was a little cloggy cloggy It's always like there. that on embarkation though. That's like every ship. <sighs> what about your day? My day has been fantastic. Is it late? Can I yell? I can't yell, can I? Yeah, it's pretty late. I have to be quiet. Uh, but yeah, I've enjoyed all the music. You know, I'm a very musically driven person. Now, I think oh, I might <laughs> I might miss the actual production show, but we'll see. I'm going to go check out these little dancey shows, and we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's one tomorrow. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Y'all, good night. No. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. Let's <laughs> dish on dinner time. <laughs> all right, so we went to Rudy's Salle de Mer. Mm -hmm. uh, we started off with a nice little salmon... Um, a moose -bouche. That thing. Smoked salmon... Puree, I yeah. guess. I don't know, with like some puff pastry. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I love smoked salmon, so that was really delicious and very flavorful. But you said you had a nostalgic memory when you were. Oh, ate. yeah, it reminded me salmon dip. of salmon dip that our friend Teresa makes at <laughs> Glacier Wind, Wind Charters. Charters. It tasted mm -hmm. just like that, which is a very big compliment because yeah, it's amazing. It's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and then we got the little bread and the tapenades, mm -hmm. which all the toppings were delicious. They were good. Um, that's a picture of a plate. There we go. Calamari time. <laughs> the best. Yeah. The, the best? calamari in Rudy's restaurant in general, I haven't found it to be bad yet. Even on, you know, the carnival ships and now this. Right. So good. It looks very mm. light, but it's perfectly cooked. Very flavorful. Yummy. I had some. It was yeah. good too. <laughs> I had the crab bisque, which was actually really rich. It was like thick too. Like I would eat it. It stuck to the spoon, stuck to my mouth, but I kind of like that. A lot of flavor. Very bold. Mm -hmm. Hunks of crab in there. Um, I would eat that every day. You got your salads preparation. Salad, I forget what they call it. Seafood salad trio, something okay. like that. So it was uh, crab, tuna, and bay shrimp. Bay shrimp were my favorite. They were all very flavorful though, and I loved the presentation. Very fresh, you could tell. Mm -hmm. I got the <laughs> marinated lobster, which was good. It was not actually packed full of, full of flavor. It was good. I'd probably skip it in, on a second visit. But I was satisfied with it. Yeah. Good flavor. The sauce was very bright, and I like that. It was a really good citrus bite to it, so I do approve of that. Your um, spectacular food tower of foodness. The grilled seafood dish? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what they call it. He'll have it now. That's there. fine. They've um, seen the captions already. Oh, good. Okay. Um, yeah, I was so full at this point, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm glad it wasn't as huge because the salmon was the perfect size. Had really good shrimp and scallops, and um, I loved the like vegetables that came with it. That was really tasty. Mm -hmm. I had the grilled wahoo, which was good. A lot of choices of fish. When I asked him what the fish of the day was, he had like six. Yeah, it was a lot. So I picked wahoo, <laughs> but really good. It got the lemon butter sauce, which was mm, delicious. Whew. Little tapenade. You know, I'm not the biggest olive fan, but I can eat some tapenade. Mm -hmm. 
sides, I ordered the pureed cauliflower, which was, it was, it tasted very much of cauliflower, but it almost had no texture. Like, I wish it was more of a lightly pureed or like a mashed cauliflower, because it was literally just smooth, smooth like some baby food, but it tasted good. <laughs> Uh, how were your green beans? Erica bears. They were delicious. Perfectly cooked, uh, and I love the seasoning on them. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had the ratatouille, which actually, that was really good. It was, it had, I don't even know how to describe the flavor. I gave you good. some. It was <laughs> I'm tired good. of saying good, but it was good. Tomatoey, very rich, very well seasoned. Yeah. Um, we got the little, I can call it the dessert amuse-bouche. That's not what it's called. The tree dessert. Yes. It was good. I only tried a couple of things because I was not <laughs> top at this point, <laughs> but what I had was delicious and mm -hmm. flavorful. Yeah, I like the, they had the gelée, which uh -huh. was a very soft gelée. I like there the was some, fruit one. Uh, that was good. Um, then I got, well, so let's go to yours first. You got the apple tart to tan. So good. I wish oh. I had more room in my stomach. Um, it was the cinnamon gelato and the apples were like perfectly cooked and mm. the puff pastry was just some of the best I've ever had, like for an apple dessert. I get like half of it. it yeah. Was good. And I had the chocolate face. Now that is mostly just for the whimsy. I mean, the little truffles yeah. were good. The vanilla um, gelato was tasty. Berries, caramel popcorn. I mean, it's more of a novelty than a mmm. That's a delicious dessert. But I liked it for the novelty. It's fun and to the play whimsy. with your hand. So <laughs> that was it yeah. for dinner. We're going to bed now. Yeah. Plus, my arm hurts from holding this camera up for six minutes. But yeah, we will see you tomorrow on a sea day. Oh, I do have to say mm -hmm. thanks to Holland America because they actually yes. provided Rudy's Seldom Air for us to enjoy. That was amazing. Yes. Thank you Thank guys you, so much. America. We really did enjoy it. Yes. Um, now we'll say good night. That's it. See you day tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see you for some more fun. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. Bye.